taking some light damage on Roos. It's going to be Henny, though, taking a few Glock bullets to the chest as Frozen waits for the rotations, and Vinny will present one, but no death just yet. Until Phelps gets stuck, he'll find Robs, and here comes a swing on all these dual elites. They knew how many people were crossing, so they just try and sandwich it in. That's really good. Decent with a headshot. Bomb going down. Brokey, you need this kill, and he will get it. Couldn't really afford to wait that one out because more backup is going to be coming rather swiftly here. Two versus three. Shots missed by Rain. He's usually a master of the pistol round, but that got a little bit sketchy. No way has gone down. And Phelps trying to see if he can open it up. They are about oh, to get shot in the God. back. This has gone wrong. Brokey spins around. He's got no oh, more bullets. Oh, but Phelps has run out as well. And just like that. That should be it. Yeah, but he's got he doesn't have the kit. Ten seconds. He he's could maybe sit back there, but he knows he's gonna get hunted down. It might have been enough here. Phelps will get the kill, but I don't think without the kit he's gonna be able to win the round. So phase, I mean it is such a hard round for them to win, but they'll do it at the end. It's one of the scrappiest rounds of the tournament so far. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing of excitement happening on the Imperial side here, so. Should be just phase once they figure out what's going on. Worst thing that can happen in a round like this for phase is that they somehow surrender an AK. I guess in that sense, Rain is a bit on his own. There's no way picking up one kill here. So far, it's not a big deal. They're going to be fine with it, but Brokey, he's quite lucky to be alive there. Ooh. With a grenade in hand, they're going to be able to clean it up anyway. But um, yeah, there was a couple of turns there where that could have gone the wrong way. He's aware of the tendencies of phase clan. They'd like to get across down towards Secret. They could still fully execute down towards this lower bomb site. They've actually got great progress. It's frozen. Unfortunately, he is found out. Rain in towards the vents. And we've got Phelps on the bomb site itself now. So what's the final commitment here? The final play. 35 seconds remaining. Trying to spam out Phelps. No bullets connecting. They're going to have to continue down towards the B bomb site. Carrigan's there with the bomb. And they've got so much CT presence here. I'm not sure FaZe will be able to make this one work. Yeah, I think that's a bit too steep of an angle to wallbind that position in rain, unfortunately. Rops will get a headshot, and that might open things up. They spot up Phelps. Just barely get to catch him. Decent going to be going down next. The defense at the B bomb side has crumbled. Ooh. Nothing that Imperial could do about this. They might have left it late, and they might have lost the entry there for Frozen getting taken out by Henny. But the B attack itself was flawless. It was very nice, wasn't it? Yeah. CTs. Were more than ready for it. They had all the intel. The phase were heading down towards lower, but the protocols and trade potential there are phase. They only give up one single frag, and that was frozen against the AWP. Everything else went perfectly for them. 3 0 start for phase. Imperial will save an M4A4 in the hands of Vinny, but that's nothing to really write home about. Oh, that's, that's rough. Got the MP9, I suppose. He could still seal away a cheeky kill, too, but it's going to be Vinny challenging first with that M4A4 saving the previous. Round. Henny, though, makes it work with the USP. Does he ever? Double kill found with the pistol. <laughs> if he could have got away there. This round is not impossible to win. No way has been having a fantastic tournament. Dead now, of course. As we see, decent. Yeah. That's the power of the 5-7. Can be pesky, close range. And now he's got the AK-47. They know where he is somewhat. But Brokey, I was going to say, that's... Uh, Wild and audacious maneuver with no trade potential there. The spacing was all off. I think decent. I think he wins this round, Anders. He's walked right out. You're absolutely right. He's got it. That's a one versus three for decent to pick that up. Imperial are on the board. Carrigan with the tech nine here. And they're pushing towards decent, looking for a bit of revenge. The flashbangs are doing absolutely nothing. And he'll get the first kill there. Yeah, that, flash, position. Is, that flash is designed to get almost everyone, but uh, decent, obviously. Watch the take. He knows what flashes they throw. And uh, we'll be taken down one for one trade. So FaZe will be pretty happy with that. But this is, oh, I was going to say, a guaranteed kill for Henny. But Rain absolutely bests him with the rifle. That's the AWP remove. The bomb's going to be planted. And Vinny, I don't think he can deny. Advantage phase, four versus three, as they reposition to set up the post plan. If they weren't in so deep, you could make a, a good case for Imperial saving these rifles here. They don't have a lot of money in the bank. Three versus four is a very, very hard bomb site to retake right now, given what they have left. A one smoke in a kit, maybe. If you can throw that up and no way can run into the smoke, that might be one way to do it. But otherwise, I don't think it's going to be happening here. Oh, nice shot onto rain. Still three people left on the other side. They tap the bomb. Oh, they're finding the kill. It's so quick. They get frozen as well. And they are oh, no. on the defuse right oh, no. away. Uh -oh. With the kit in the back pocket, it's going to be Imperial to win the round. That is remarkable. FaZe, they should win this round nine times out of ten. 
which is horrifying to play against if you're an opponent of Brokey. I mean, that's something you dread. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ole! Let's go! That's quite a nice little shot. Henny with the collateral, through the smoke, through the silo, as uh, we go into a five on three. This was a partial buy for face, bear in mind as well. So still a complicated round. We are going to see a pretty clean finish though. Carrigan and Rob's remain and poor Carrigan. That's on an island here. That's got quite a nice shot towards Phelps, to be fair to him. Can he do anything else though, Alex? That's the question. No, Henny. After getting the collateral, will close things out with the hat trick. It's still early days. It's just so hard to forget about some of the other games that FaZe have lost here. Rain gets taken down. It's an aggressive push from Henny. Sometimes it can be very hard to get out from these positions. Good shot from Rops. We'll take down Decent. That makes it a four versus three. Well, only for a second there. Four versus three now. As Phelps was trying to sneak on through. Okay. If they go towards hell, though, he might not even get the timing. They're rotated. We'll see if it works out for him. And he's going to be walking into his cross with a lot of things. Oh, they're ready for it. Fantastic awareness from no way. In towards up we go. As mentioned, Vinny is ready and waiting. Yes, he is back here. He doesn't quite get the shot. And unfortunately, Kerrigan crouches into it. That's unfortunate. It's a bit of a flash coming up. No way would love to get up to the high ground. He does have a Molotov, so he can put some pressure on from up there. Grenade lands on him, and the Molotov doesn't really hit anyone, so... They can stick by phase. This should be their round again. Nine times out of ten, you win this. The bomb is already down. You've got a one-man advantage. CT side having a hard time putting this one together. Henny's just patiently waiting back there. Gonna get the kill on Frozen. Tries for a wall bang, but they're running out of time very, very swiftly on this one. He's still moving forward, though. AK on the high ground, not gonna make it work. And I think Henny knows that is his time to call it quits. See if he can pick up that a AWP maybe again. He'll be shooting Brokey in the back. At least make it expensive, sure. Does he survive this? I don't think so. Everyone goes down, but FaZe at least winning the round and is pulling one back after conceding three in a row. There have been some lobby crunches already attempted from Imperial and quite successfully, so you don't want to be alone back there. Grenade, maybe it goes a little bit further than it could have been, but still does some damage. Softens him up a bit. Molotov to stop the rotation. Vinny tried to run right through it. Broke, he was ready with the Galil on the other side. It's Phelps to come through next. One more trade, and it's in favor of FaZe here. As the bomb gets planted, no way. Close range with the 5-7, and he picks up a Galil instead. Another three versus three here. But that is a really fast bomb plant, and there's no kit in play on Imperial. It's a very tricky retake. Don't know if, no, I don't think he saw the gun barrel. Henny, he's got some idea. This battle could be everything, and it's rain to come out on the low side of that one. Carrigan and Rob's left. Bays need this round, and Imperial need to be lightning fast. I think they might have almost run out of time already. They've left it very, very late in the round. I don't yeah. think it can be done. I don't think it can be done either, but they can keep FaZe very modest all the same, but it will be a fifth round on the board. Carrigan confirms it. He'll make his way out towards the ramp room. Two Imperial players survive, so this is already shaping up to be quite a nice half with a couple of fumbled rounds in the mix as well. I say gun. It's a taser. Decent pushing in towards the ramp, and he's found Rops through the smoke. Early advantage now. You know how I know the Seuss was going to be better in CS2? How? It's because you were finally on board with it. You hated the Seuss in CSGO. And Hate is a strong word, Anders, but you might be correct here. Despise. I despise the <laughs> Low, Strong loathing for the Yeah, for the I, I hated the shotguns as well. I'm somewhat coming around to them. Okay. You know, it's like, it, it, hasn't, it hasn't been the, the shotgun major, has it? No, it really hasn't. We haven't really seen any. They've gone out of fashion. We need simple here. Well, there's one more Seuss in play, and Vinny has got in a cheeky position right now. Got to oh, be careful. It's the Rob special. Very I, often, just going to get traded out. I think it could work here, Anders. It definitely doesn't, though. I kind of, I appreciate it. It means you're, you're willing to take fights. You know, you're standing tall. But uh, this time it doesn't really work out whatsoever. We're going to have a three versus two, but bear in mind, this was an eco. They saved two guns from the previous round. Going to give it a little look in, though. We have no way rotating with Vinny. He's going to be on the end of the fishing rod here. See if they can get a couple of kills if possible. They know exactly what both these players are. And it's Vinny opening things up. Brutal grenade lands at the solo door. And uh, for now, that should be it. 2v1 and no way has no chance. With 30 HP, no Kevlar. And uh, this could be saving that AK-47 by looks of things. But FaZe amassing a huge haul of rounds here on the T side. It's going to be 6-3. to three. Very yeah. comfortable scenes. So whoever loses this series, they're going home. They're not making it to the playoffs. If you win it, you're in the 2-2. Two -two. 
harsh portion of the tournament, and we'll get back into the action here. It's Robs with a pretty chaotic frag to open things up. Phelps will go down early and squeaky door, but Vinny will respond in kind. Just trying to redouble his efforts, get through the squeak door, it looked like. And gets cause a good read. Vinny able Fire instead, two. so not going to be too much of a problem here. Frozen looking to walk through on the other side. Rain is doing the same thing, and they're both going to get caught. Absolutely brilliant setup coming out here for Imperial. Who now, on the other hand, do need the rounds. They're starting to fall really far behind. Oh, Brokey. He knew that Decent would be coming for him. And it's going to thrust Carrigan into a pretty much impossible 3v1. I say that because the bomb is down in a pretty precarious spot. He's just going to be looking for any straggling CTs. And he's actually done a very good job of finding no way here. Down to a two on one now. 35 seconds. If you have the uh, bomb. Henny's in the garage, I believe. So. I don't think Carrigan will be checking this particular position, and down he goes. Well played, as uh, Imperial bounced back. Oh. That's the angle's broken, but it doesn't really matter. He's going to get the shot on Frozen anyway. He's aware that someone could be down here. Be down there to watch Toxic, but you never know. 40 seconds on the clock here. The force up, like you said. They lose. Oh, it's another two for one! Henny! Optimizing the AWP <laughs> to a level we haven't seen very often. He's finally going to go down. Carrigan does sneak out of the window using the sound of death to mask his footsteps. And we have got a potential bomb plan here, but Vinny looking to sabotage their efforts. The thing it's a nice safe plan, but can't be covered from ramp. And Carrigan continues to actually show some impressive form Seven with his scouts, but yes, indeed, no time, no space. And it will be Imperial to pick up the penultimate round of this first half of the best of three. It definitely has happened. We said the outside wall of smokes were likely. Phelps playing in front of them, however. Oh, 99 Mine. damage, and it will be converted by Rain. So that's a nice little feather in their cap. And it's to recover an AK-47. Rain has been tagged in the process, though. The garage, there is a player holding that. I don't think Rain's coming out on top of this one. Yeah, timing not with him either. Now just down to the pistols for the rest of it here. Vinny, not exactly the most pre precise uh, round from him, but I think in the end they're going to be fine with it. Decent lining up a couple of kills, and it's going to be tied up at 6-6 six to six at the end of it. Squeaky door should be open at this stage. Phelps, ready to get towards main. Here's the flash. Here's the execution. It's quite a nice pistol so far, but Brokey will find first blood. Yeah, the Molotov behind the site. There's no one down there. Decent's down already. Rain looking to see when he can pounce up out of the vent. He needs someone else to distract a little bit. Just to pull the attention away so that no one's looking in that direction. They do not have a flashbang and they do not have a kit. So with the bomb planted, the pressure's on phase. Even if they have the amount of advantage here, this is a huge pistol round for them. And Frozen and Carrigan, it's a oh. strong start. Already. It could not have been better. Well, that's the first time they've looked like phase clan today. 35 seconds. If you throw down that Molotov right as they're trying to get in, it could be brutal for Imperial, even with a man lead here. Rops to the high ground here, and Frozen gets nothing done. Doesn't throw the grenade or anything. They've cleaned their way in. Decent with the headshot against Rain. That is a clean round coming out from the Brazilian side. I guess you can call this a half by three players of Kevlar. Broke, going to be flashing in. Rops in towards the ramp. Oh my goodness, he's got away with one. He's got an AK here as well. Surely he doesn't get away with this. What? He has. He ran past one of the players. So now he can give that AK up to someone else who's got high HP here. Five on four. Imperial do have some outside control here. Phelps slowly but surely getting closer to Rops and should find him here. There he is. Oh uh, God, that's scary. It took him a second against Rops. You could be dead. Yep, true. Well, that AK has gone now. And he's nearly getting timed. That's horrific. They are pushing up from the hut, walking up behind them with a P250. Oh, but they let go of a bullet. You need the kill right then. Sure, there's a second player, but the other two players are dropped down below. Frozen, it's a nice kill, but he shouldn't be able to do a lot more than this. And his teammates cannot help him out. They're not able to get up out of that vent. So the bomb is going to get planted here. And that should pretty much secure the round for Imperial. There were a couple of ways this round could have got exploded. Now it's down to the deagles, and it's been a while since we've seen really good deagle shots. I don't know what's happened. They're all gone, Henry. The deagle luck is yeah. uh, diminished, Anders. We spent it all in CSGO. It's all done. Uh, no CZs either, this tournament. That's true. Which, I, I can't even really make that make sense if the tech 
lines going to be used? Surely the C set could also be used. Maybe we just don't have the players for it. We're missing some of the C set abusers. Well, there's an eagle, no headshot, but a frag found at the very least. Phelps and T spawn as no way closes things out. This is looking dangerous for FaZe Clan now. Utilizing their advantages and Phelps will meet his maker in the form of Rain. He's on for a double kill here. He seems to be very aware. No way we'll take care of him though. And in towards main we go. They need a Molotov back here to get rid of Frozen though. He's already got one kill. Yeah, they know that he's here. They have the grenades. Surely someone can find a way to toss one back there, Carrigan. Strong headshot. And that grenade no longer means anything. Frozen has gone down, but and he's alone. I think Phaser found a way. So he can still be quite sure where he is. And it looks like, oh my god, the timing is scary. Drops are quite moving. Okay. 30 seconds. 30 seconds indeed. Kenny, is there anything left to be said about this round? I doubt it. Robs will have him contained in towards the lobby. <gasps> He's got a player right next to him, Anders. Inside of the smoke, he has no idea. And Decent doesn't know it either. The whole round could be hinging on this one interaction between the two players. Separated by got a smoke, him. and it's Robs taking down Decent on the other side. Rain even wins this fight. And it's suddenly a five versus three. They don't need to challenge too much now. No. Rain knows it as well. Two players outside. Information garnered. Take... Take that and run. Yeah, take the W and just walk away from this one. You don't have to do it. No way, gets one. Robs walks into the shot and it's back into a three versus three phase. They knew the call. And they seem to know that Frozen's coming as well. They are just peeking one by one and throwing this round away. No. Excellent work from No Way. Don't get me wrong, he's got himself a hat trick. Absolutely. Perfect crosshair placement, fantastic awareness, but this was a five on three. They could even Molotov out one or both of these positions. Well, not both, but one of them. All right, Molotov goes the wrong way, so both players are intact for now. Flashes into the sight, missed shot, and Kerrigan is on his own. Ten seconds. Nine seconds on the clock, a headshot comes out. Can he hold on to the dream? Oh. He gets another one. It's a massive clutch for the captain of the team. And it all starts with a very complicated setup. Rain will get the opening frag here. Five on four on map point. The Tech Nines are out, but Kerrigan raining down there from above. But it's not going to be quite enough. Down to a three on three, Anders. Uh, well, maybe could be done with quickly. Vinny's very, very low on health, though. Lack of grenades on the CT side, Rops. It's one good kill as the bomb is getting planted down in front, but it got delayed once already. <laughs> that is a nice flick. Rops to take down decent Vinny. All alone, low on health. The Molotov, Rops surely going to be pushing forward, and it's the pistol to finish the job. FaZe survive a scary outing on Nuke to take their own map pick, and they are looking a little bit better once again. Uh, yeah, totally agree. Now at the T side start, of course, Anders, and it's going to be a B execution. One smoke, a Molotov, and a flash. Five players outside of the site itself. So they've deployed an early smoke. I think I've seen that a few times online. You can throw it from T spawn and get it into the dark room itself. And it's going to be five players challenging Henny and Phelps. Opening kill goes in favor of FaZe. Does it ever as they get a flurry of frags? And that's going to be a guaranteed pistol round. For well, the FaZe boys here, Vinny and Decent have literally zero chance of winning this one. Yeah, you've, at the best you're hoping for, probably get a couple of kills. If you wanted to upgrade into something in the next round, it'll help out. But you're right, they're not going to be able to do anything to even get close to the bomb site. Well, that was very comprehensive. Three kills for Brokey, keeping the same energy that he had on Nuke. That's probably a great sign. Rops, it's uncomfortable. Dancing around the pillar. Going to need some backup here to get rid of Vinny. He's kind of running out of bullets at the same time. They are putting some pressure on, and eventually it will be rain to pick him up. So, first round goes to phase. Set smokes. We're going to be inquiring towards the canal position as well. Popping open the smoke and willing to challenge. And that challenge is successful. Phelps gets a double kill. Picks down rain and Brokey. Vinny not happy with that advantage. Will continue to push and probably kicking himself now. Necessarily yeah. required, and you've given them a sliver of hope back into the round with Phelps down to 13 HP as well. This one is not done or indeed dusted. Oh, Carrigan, if he took his time, might have had a freebie there. The timing was brutal for Vinny because Henny was actually throwing a flashbang from inside of the A bomb site for that peak to come through. So a little bit closer, and he would have had the flash and probably would have had the kill as well. So, so he's still occupying them. Yeah, he's in a lot of danger, but 
He's still there. They're starting to get Carrigan. This is such a brilliant play. No way oh, pushing no. through, but Carrigan wasn't ready. He had the rifle out. He might have had the kill, but either way, he did a lot of work in this round. Bomb is planted. Rops has got to be careful as he nearly gets shot through the smoke twice, and he's down to 25 health. Frozen is hearing them walking up behind. He's got the AK out. There could be a quick headshot here, but no way crouches into the fight and will take him down instead. So it's all on Rops. Soft from earlier. One versus three, and they do not have a kit right now. So one quick kill could make a difference here. As the bomb's being defused, he's being locked in here, and Henny will find a way to take him down. It's a close round here. Carrigan almost had it lined up for them, but it will be Imperial to pick it up. That could be a little bit rough. You're probably going to have your crosshair in one position, and that could be enough. Wow, quick trade here to begin with. Phelps and Frozen, both of them down. And the next, it is Rops finding Vinny through the smoke. If Decent goes down, and he will, Rops probably winning the round on that kill. Bomb finally planted. And it's now up to Henny and Nowhere to try and keep their weapons in hand. Carrigan not going to be able to win that duel. Henny will take him down. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame for Carrigan, but ultimately... I think phase, the important thing is going right back to your winning ways early on. It's a very, very T-sided map, so you kind of don't want to let Imperial into the game early. You don't want to have them build an economy, keep them low, and keep winning some of these rounds. We Three are. to one the scoreline. Weird complexion of a buy. They've got a couple of safe rifles, of course, but like USP, CZs, and opening frag. Rops goes down courtesy of nowhere. That's the AK-47 brought from the previous round. They've got a man advantage here. Carrigan. Being a nuisance towards middle. And I think he goes down here. Not loving that one, I'll be honest. That's pretty ambitious. It's still from Imperial. They're going to investigate mid-position. Vinian goes down here almost certainly. Does considerable damage to Frozen. That's Doesn't anticipate a couple more players here. So still, three versus two in favor of Imperial. These rounds have been pretty sloppy from FaZe. Ye I mean, yes. Even if Carrigan, like his team wasn't even able to help him out when he was pushing. So they've done a nice smoker. They've thrown that from the canals and actually smoked deep in CT spawn, hoping to keep the two players on that side of the map. But Henny, he's here and he's holding bricks, so he won't be taken down quickly. They're assuming the site should be open, but now spotted, Henny. He'll have to just hold his nerve. He can't necessarily do anything about this. Have to hold for the rotations. And now we're into a three versus two. Make it two on two. As Henny fighting back here. Should be the trade for Decent. And it will be another round in favor of Imperial. Smoke's down. Starting to dissipate now. And it's going to be an opening frag once again. Rops dealt with by Vinny. He is looking as sharp as usual. Yeah, although Rops has been in that fight quite a bit, so it's interesting to see Vinny come out on top this time. That, that just from an individual point of view, has to feel pretty good for Vinny. That, that would be significant, but I think they're aware there's a potential gap. They should be watching this to some extent. Apparently not. Carrigan doesn't present any trigger discipline. Um, does get the information of two more here at the very least, so he could fall back off this. Doesn't decide to do so. It's going to be now two players still in towards B, one towards oh. Dark. And here comes the rotation. Bomb to be planted, frozen and brokey this time in the clutch. Molotov will buy them a bit of space and time as he recovers the M4 as well. A fighting chance here. A slim chance of success for FaZe. So if Imperial screwed this up, look at that. There's another flank. They've already planted the bomb. Now he's gone back through the tunnel towards CT spawn. This could be huge frozen. This might have been the five. Oh no, he again he just fires right away. I thought he would try and line it up. It might not have mattered because Brokey's on the other side, hitting headshots. There is so much on the line. It would be a dark day for FaZe if they get knocked out of the major by Imperial. You want to see that they understand how much it means. Brokey explodes no way as he tries to go in there. Henny's picking up the AWP. And Rob's now looking to commit to the fight. He's got to be a little bit careful because he does have that AK that could be lost. Henny, they lured him into it. Rob's thinking, okay, it's just a 5-7. I'll take the swing. Did Vinny see that? He surely did, right? Uh, looks like... No. Phelps will be ready for a regard. He's got to kill a Carrigan. Okay, nice work, Carrigan. That's a very important kill. Make it a double. This was starting to look a little bit questionable there for FaZe, but he's managed to find some space. And Decent won't be able to deny the plants here. So do they save the AWP or do they try and win out in a three versus one? I think that answer has already been presented as Henny will be so far away. AWP in towards the A side of the map, just has to try and save it here. And it will be five rounds on the board, four phase. Base clan outfit. And you can see they're on high alert on the CT side. 
trying to gain an advantage, get something going in their favor. Not the cleanest spray from Carrigan. I guess we'll take it, considering he trades out with Phelps. And this next kill is everything, and it's going to be not quite a double, but it's man advantage now as we see a three versus one in Siu. Imperial surely can put this one to bed up against Brokey. Well, wasting a bit of time, and the problem is when he gets to the bomb site here, he's going to be heard, and they should be able to get on top of him, although he's pushing forward. This, this would have been the way to win it. If he could have fi found the fight against Vinny and won that, this is really important. There's not that much money on FaZe. If they win this one, Imperial, they can start something, and they absolutely will. Not a chance for FaZe to get onto the bomb site. Brokey and Rain left, and Imperial, just don't make any silly mistakes now, and this should be your round. Map control or causing any sort of threat on the bomb site. Rain will pull one back. 2v5 begins here, but there's only 13 seconds at this. So Brokey has to get this kill and then go plant right now. Well, even that might be very, very difficult. He's slightly hidden, but not enough. Decent will find him. You know what? Fair play. I appreciate that they went for that one. Vinny fancies his peak. Freebie. But he goes down. That's not necessarily worth it at all. Yeah. Consider you need to actually follow through. 25 seconds. Smoke up. Some counter Molotovs are coming in to try and slow the progression here for the phase side. It's Phelps. As the smoke phase, he'll take down Carrigan, and no way he couldn't have had a better line up there. Rops and Brokey, the only two people alive here for phase, and they're going to get swiped as well. Phelps from Dark with a triple kill. I guess they're going to drop down from middle and try and split from the Dark Room. Full spray. Committed here. Oh my goodness, Carrigan. Hell of a shot there on decent. Phelps will offer himself up. So now, a fighting chance here. They're actually going to send all these players towards middle. Smoke down towards the Temple side of mid. Phelps to push through it and maybe find another kill here. Tenny fighting back. That org is a real nuisance. As now we have a three versus two. Imperial oh, looking good. I think so far this round is very well played by Imperial. They have a good read of what's going on. Yeah, allow the bomb plant. It doesn't matter. It's a 12th round. Just make this a comprehensive two on three. Vinny sneaking up behind. Brokey's dead and Rops very low on health already. He's going to get a bullet to the face. And Imperial will get a sixth round. It's nicely played two on three from the Brazilian side here. And I'm starting to get concerned for FaZe once again. But they haven't seen it. They, they don't know about the walkout yet. Decent. He didn't peek deep enough on the second go. So Rain sneaking up. Carrigan at range. And now they can fall back. Frozen. Great it's headshots. Like, yep. Defending the A-bomb side. That's more like Frozen yep. will get the last. That is more how we like it. Yeah, you know, like some convincing headshots. A good setup. No one whiffing the bullets. We'll see what kind of positional control he can find. Oh, he gets caught with his pants down, Anders. Absolutely sent down onto the beach, dead. 19 seconds here. They're pushing the bomb sites very late in the game for this round to get kicked off, but they'll get the kill on Rain, and they overwhelm Carrigan, and suddenly they have a bomb plan. They still have Phelps, oh. who can be controlling their rotations here. If he's patient, Rops is going to be surely dead. Walks right into it. Brokey on his own. Imperial leaving it to the fading seconds of the round. For some reason, wasn't happy of his spot. Is a nice off angle. He's guaranteed at least one kill there. And like we said, call his pants oh, down. Bro. What? That is, God, what is going on? Didn't need to reposition. I don't think that was the difference maker. And now they've lost Carrigan. He hit things off. This is unraveling at the seams for FaZe. Brokey. Having a rough time in the last few rounds. There are what nice 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 people. What's he doing? The stabbing decent Brokey. What is going on? He pulled no that knife idea. out so early, swinging it inside of the smoke. What is happening today? I no. This is a wild game. Again, this everything is on the line. You're going to get eliminated from the major, losing this series, and it just doesn't feel like it has the gravity from either team. Like I'm very confused. Rops and Frozen. Holding on to it, but they're already walking away. They know they can't win this round. The bomb is planted. It's looking to tie up the game, make it an 8-8 score, Lions. Imperial are actually kind of showing up for that fight themselves. Henny take down Carrigan to begin with, and that's a very nice swing. AK penetrating that wall is just a lot of damage. Yeah, I think FaZe might be done on this map, Anders. I think we're going to Mirage. Not seeing much that convinces me otherwise. Imperial just uh, loving it out there. They've got another clean sweep. Money will be nice and strong after this one. We're on the strongest T-sided map and 
Uh, for now, Brokey, like you said, 27 HP. Can't really do much about this apart from save the scavenged M4A1S. That also would be, kind of be impressive for Internal Fire if they able to do that. Well, bear in mind, is Eternal Fire the 13-1 phase clan. Right, yes, they've, had, they've had a bloody rough tournament. You could say that again. We may have to say that again. Yeah, like, if this is how they go out, it'll be really sad. Imagine they lose this series now. And that's their major that run, the happen. first year's two major, that, that's how it goes down. That could absolutely happen, like this looks this is very hard to get inspired by what we're seeing on the server, unfortunately. Hate Brokey's to say it, like, but it is true, very tagged HP. up. Yeah, this one round's already done, I think. Yeah, yeah. Broke just goes down with nothing. Oh, this is a really wild game to me. I don't know what team I'm watching, and it's not FaZe Clan. So many solo fights that the B hold is like just woeful. Um, not really causing any damage whatsoever. Carragher's now left with 20 HP. Your in game lead up. Trying to hold it together. He'll be executed on that. There's almost zero chance he can find more than one kill. Well, Times of Imperial. They're making the most of it. All the solves in. Let's see if Carragher proved me wrong. No, definitely not. That's another save. Another underwhelming round. Not even close to being competitive. And the bomb side itself, Rops will have a lack of vision now. Can they fend them off? Does it all end here? It's the first kill for Frozen. Finally, an advantage for Rops. They can't hold on to it. They're getting absolutely ravished here, Anders. Rops can't get anything done. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they had to put down the smoke to stop the Molotov from burning Rops, but then he just, it's uncomfortable. Normally he's someone who's very, very good at playing around those kind of angles. Like, at least find one kill could make the difference. A retake being attempted. Gotta go for it. Yeah, you have to. Brokey and Rain, you might as well give it a shot. You've got a smoke as well, but I don't know if there's a kit somewhere on the site. There might be one up at the high ground here, but either way, if there isn't, they've already run out of time. Yeah, I think Rain picked one up. I don't think it's going to make a difference any longer. Henny will find the shot and no escape for Brokey either. Henny getting himself fired up. On Anubis, you can have to buy now. Phase 12 to 8. Aggressive towards Darkroom and, well, first frag and the oh second God. in favor of Imperial. I think we're done here, boys. Yeah, looks like it's 90 night time for Phase. They did come half sleeping into this second map. And the results are pretty much what you would expect from that. Brokey and Frozen are left here, two versus five. Imperial, with Henny getting warmed up. Those AWP shots look very crisp. Like, this, this is over. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get yeah, we're excited not for this one. No, we're not going to end this one. <laughs> we're done with that. It's, it's over. <laughs> oh, this is the best looking phase. They literally can't win the round. This is the best looking sequence they've had. All half long. They won't amount to anything though. FaZe are in trouble. FaZe might be going out of the major early. It's the final map coming up on Mirage here. FaZe starting okay. on the T side. Imperial starting on the CT side. I like that, Anders. Let's get some energy in the room. It's been sucked out of us after the previous Truly. map. As uh, we are going to see Imperial now look to knock FaZe out of the tournament. I think that's uh, the, the focus of this particular map. It's Imperial actually looking to knock them out. It's the more likely outcome from what we've seen so far. The Brazilians will be on the CT side. Julie's available for them, and oh, what a flashbang that is. What a pitch-perfect flashbang. Deployed towards the A ramp. Another beautiful shot from Henny. Remember, FaZe have been winning the pistols. They've won all the pistols in this series so far. They are four for four. They start losing pistols as well. Can they even recover it? Nice shot from Decent. You like to see it. Carrigan eventually overcoming that ramp position. So still a 2 on 3. A bomb plant is kind of hard to find right now. They don't have any smokes or anything. Like you said, you're, you're sort of out of the round for a couple of seconds there when you're planting. But Phelps wanted to take a peek a bit early and that'll get him killed. Vinny has to be careful. Flashbang in hand. Henny feeling the pressure. The flashbang lands in between them. And he can't swing on it either. 30 seconds here. A little bit of an engagement. They might have done enough damage to hunting him down. Henny, he's in trouble and he's dead. 27 seconds phase. Recovering a huge deficit in this round. But it's back on once again. The dually's been picked up. Vinny, 28 bullets. Looking to see if he can reclaim this round for his team. And the bomb is finally going to get planted here. He misses the first outing. Carrigan sneaking on through. Vinny's in trouble. They're all around him and Frozen will take him Ooh. down. FaZe find a way to win one more pistol. We'll see if Rain can farm some money of his own. 
with brute force. Takes a bullet to the face, though, I'm afraid, as uh, he might disengage at this point. Frozen. He'll try and make it work with the glow. You don't really need these kills, Atlas. If anything, you're just risking losing a rifle or two. Like, looks to be absolutely fine, I suppose. We lose two, though. One, yeah, we lost two. Yeah, wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> really? Peeking sort of beyond the longevity of the flash. You don't really necessarily want to do that. We're down to 35 seconds. A little bit of a spray for no way. He's got no more grenades, but he still lands a kill, and he's getting a chance to reload. He should have been swiped out here, and finally he will be. He stayed alive for a lot longer than he should have been. Well, here we go. A bomb side is under phase occupation. We are going to see a three-on-three -three ensue. Phelps low HP. There are kits available, but... Are they going for this one? Pretty far removed from the equation. Two coming from the connector position. We've got Henny and CT spawn. They have little to no utility. A single smoke as Phelps waits for his opportunity to strike from the window. I don't know, time is of the essence, Anders. They don't seem to be much, moving with much pep in their step. I guess they're saving now. Oh, well, especially falling off the ledge like that. Frozen. That's also the smoke gone. I think that smoke was an essential component. Like you said, like, that's the only utility they have. They could have smoked the bomb. They could have tried to defuse with Vinny, but... When the smoke is lost, maybe not so much. Okay. Phase. Winning another round. So first buy round for Imperial that falls a bit flat. Could backstab. Flashbang's very effective, but no way doesn't commit to the swing. Yeah, starts to fall a little bit back. Looking down towards the underpass, but no way. Good double headshot and Henny just at the right time. On top of the smoke, he'll take down Rops. It's a favorable trade, but Carrigan, he somehow brings it back. That smoke was disappearing, and Carrigan even putting in a Molotov, actually forcing him forward. Yeah, Frozen was at the top of mid. It's Carrigan's Molotov that's actually setting up that kill for Frozen, who started to play really well all of a sudden. Vinny gets one in return, and suddenly, with a minute on the clock, it is a one versus one. Frozen on 30 health with the bomb in his back pocket. Do you want... Where do you want to go for the afterplants? So the, I'm assuming there's a kit. Indeed, there is. That is sm oh. Okay. Well, that's a way to win a round, Henry. Yeah, that's how you do it. Important round, though. Both teams yeah. on the edge financially. And there we're going are. for those to B rush. Straight yeah, through the, the Molotov, and then we go as flashes. Yeah, I like that. I like the speed behind this phase. Get a little bit warmed up in here, although the early engagement's not working on the phase. What a flashbang to set it up. Vinny broke here. There's no chance to do anything. He was so blind behind that one. Frozen gets a headshot in the middle. No way caught jumping in. Rops was hiding in the corner. And decent, if you lose this fight, the round is cracked open again. Frozen walking up, or Rob's walking up behind you, in fact. And he's going to get the shot on you. I can't believe FaZe have found a way out. It looked like they had lost everything on this bomb site, but... Henny making his way through the window, not even checking to his left-hand side. He should be able to get this one for free, and he will. Knows that Rops is on the other side. A little bit of damage already. It's a one-shot headshot here for Henny if he can find it, and he can. Rops is dead, and a huge clutch once again going in favor of Imperial. Basic mid-control protocol here coming out from the phase side. You smoke the window, you push underpass, you've got some people at top mid. It's all pretty default stuff, not to say that it's necessarily bad. But a lot will be decided on that first kill. They've secretly snuck somebody in. Nobody knows about that. That could be huge. Rain getting a lot of kills in the middle, and Carrigan following it up. A slaughter on the Brazilian side here. It's just Henny, and he's going to be dead as well. That is a convincing round. Smoke goes down to the connector. He's been very careful now. Rain will get the first kill, but is that open towards connector? Secondary smoke should alleviate that pressure. And now they've confirmed the orbs on that side. That's the B split being confirmed now. Yeah, you feel very confident going for this. All the pressure on Vinny. Oh, Carrigan, right. this could be perfect timing. It actually could. Oh, this is so sick. Spins around looking for the double, and he nearly had it. Waited another second, he probably does, but Vinny gets blown up. He had the old AWP back there. He should have been favored to get at least one of those kills, but Crystal McLean with the shot on him from the AK-47. 50 seconds here. There's nothing the rest of Imperial could do. Faye's going to be at six rounds. Maybe... Decent could rotate in from middle with a Molotov and HE and do some damage. No waves, got some grenades as well. Henny just needs one kill. If he can get that, I mean, it's mission accomplished. There we go. All right. He's early out the gate with that one, but uh, getting shot at the back trying to rotate on over by Frozen. Not exactly ideal. All right. Decent. Coming in from the side with a strong kill. Two versus three. Technically, still could be done. Kit's right there in front of Decent, so surely you. Pick that up, yeah. 
There we go. Molotov in the bag. Some spam on top. Broke he is. Taking a bit of damage, but... He's... Oh! <laughs> it's not going to make a difference. That would have been a cool way to maybe get a kill, but... um, It's phase at seven rounds. They're actually doing it. They're actually waking up. I don't know what caused it. We need interviews to dig into this. We need to find out. Yeah, we're what on the was B stream, them back. We don't get them. Oh, well... So they kind of get away with it. Looks like they're going to be an A finish here. So, an ultimate round of this first half and is Imperial. Ouch. Need this one desperately. It will be Vinny to find the opening kill. Takes down Captain Carrigan. And it's Henny to chime in for the second as well. It's looking much better, but still taking heavy damage on Roots. Huge grenade towards the connector. There's still a chance of a player towards the sandwich that they can take a bite out of this defense. Flash goes over. Players in the corner completely flashed. That's no way removed. And Rob's now starting to show some form. It was MIA on the second map. Couldn't really get going, but now the bomb planted. Brokey in position. Oh, the free position though, not ideal. And Rob's will go down. Brokey pulls one back. And we'll see if he can keep things going. Yeah, that was a bit ugly. <laughs> that wasn't. Phelps didn't even need to peek him. Shooting him from the side of the box. Frozen here. What have you got for us? Oh, they're already on the defuse with the kit as well. I don't think he can do anything. Even if he gets the next kill, it's just already defused. That's really well done, Imperial. Needs to be careful, though. And he's been spotted. Rain knows he's close. He'll get himself in towards the ladder. Oh, goodness gracious me. Vinny has been absolutely destroyed in the apartment. And now Rain realizes there's to be one player here. He heard him towards short and sniffs him out. Beautiful round. This is a this is a phase round, Anders. These this, are the sort of plays we expect to see. You're absolutely right. If you're a phase fan watching this, you must be thinking, finally, something that looks like something I can actually recognize as phase. Vinny got rocked in the bottom of the hallway then. Uh, you, there's no response to that. Penny gonna be found as well. An 8-4 finish of the first half here. Sneaking through the middle. 35 seconds now, just about to be. Frozen, tags up Vinny, don't need to kill, I mean, again, you're slowing them down, they've started to push up the connector, towards the Rops and Brokey, oh, oh. <laughs> come on, he come can't on. even believe it, <laughs> okay, if that doesn't inspire you, Rops, I don't know what will, they're just going for the plan at this stage, can't quite deny it, some damage done, it's a five, or well, four versus three now, Vinny will pull one back, remember, phase have won every single pistol round thus far, Across the three maps, but now starting to shrink a little bit. Decent finding them. Picking them off one by one, and it's a beautiful finish. Talk about a decent play. He steps up and goes above and beyond. On the B side of the map, going through the underpass, so focusing on that mid-control, similar to what we saw from FaZe. Good flashbangs, and it's going to be Vinny to open things up. Carrigan answers back, though. I think they've walked past each other. Phelps was there in middle. And yeah, he's got an absolute freebie. Henny will beat him to the punch, though. Opening frags. And man advantage in favor of Imperial Carrigan, known as the beat bombside anchor. Spots one, should be a guaranteed kill on the first, and he's got damage from a teammate Brokey. They'll snatch back the lead, and oh, Carrigan. Wasn't ready for the duel, it's now a one versus one. They know exactly where Brokey is, tucked away in that beast side, but he's moving quickly. This is... Well, it's gonna run straight for it to get the bomb planted. He may be Brokey. At least knows where he is. Hasn't heard any footsteps. Not quite sure if he's jumped away, but we can tell. Phelps is just crouched back there. Brokey started to walk up on top. He can't see him just yet. He's just crouched in there. And Brokey will have to make some noise jumping down. So now Phelps has the advantage. And he's just crouched in, waiting the whole time. It's a very easy way to win that clutch, but it has a huge impact. So yeah, it's good for one, maybe. He's going to have to turn away from that. And presumably, there's the first, and you get traded out. That is close, though. I mean, it could have worked out. Brokey's done a lot of damage onto No Way. They're going to blow open the smoke and try and put some pressure onto the scout. He does get one in return. But still, with the bomb planted, you would assume that Imperial are going to be able to fade away from this battle and just wait it out. There's no kit in play, obviously, on the fade side. They don't have the money for it. It's a pretty quick kill, though, taking down Vinny. And with Decent also tagged up, Penny has the AWP. Oh, oh here we go. He rocked. It's right back on, bro. He's found a headshot. It's all on decent. Get that defuse going right now and put the pressure on. Yeah, don't fake it. Just one has to go for it. The rest are holding. I don't know why they're faffing about so much. Just go for it. <laughs> Rob's getting that one. 
Why did they double tap the bomb that many times? That's so risky. 25 damage to no way. It's going to force him into the fight. He's already low. But Rain unable to connect the dots Oops. or the grenades. Oh, but they're so focused. Tunnel visioned. Hoping to hunt down Rain. And it gives Frozen what is basically a free kill in that corner. That's pretty good. Molotov here. I don't really think it was burning him, but he's going to put on the smoke anyway, preemptively. They don't know if he's escaped right now. He could have walked out of there somehow, so... They actually have to check it anyway. Four versus four. The bomb making its way up the ramp. Bit of a flash. Just doesn't even help out Rain. He's still dead, but Frozen should be winning this fight. That's a nice one. Back into a three on three. Oh, and this is the bomb. If they find it on Henny, it's actually disastrous for Imperial. They must keep Henny alive in this corner, and they are going to be able to, even though he's low on health. Players there. He saw him getting boosted up. Got a transition around towards the connector and to his certain death. Nice job from Vinny. It looks like this round is done. 10 to 8 as Brokey will be towards short. Bomb's coming out of Palace. Guess it's a chance he could find maybe two kills. Rushes the shot. Any chance he had of winning the round, Anders, has now been completely. Carrigan suggesting as a player in towards the van and providing himself a bit of cover as well. Frozen, the opening kill. They're going to have to commit now, Anders. 25 seconds. Rops will find the second. Frozen doing God's work out there. And it looks like it's enough. Carrigan has spot another player towards the palace and he's making a bit of a meal of it. Does enough damage to secure the round, I would say. And indeed, no bomb being planted. And we've got an 11th round for FaZe here. If everyone else is... Oh, okay, they're not going to refund. Okay, they're going to take just a uh, hero AK that's been removed. And uh, yeah, I guess this is going to be series points. Not really much they can do now. The only player had a Kevlar. He's gone down. They were considering of the idea of investing a bit more, but it's essentially an eco at this stage and phase. Traditional way to displace that AWP arrange. No smoke, just a flash. It is not enough to take care of the broke key. Okay, good Molotov. At least it puts Rain in a little bit of a harder position, but it doesn't matter. They don't check it. He's going to get the kill. They're going to wipe them out. Phase up to 12 and one round away from knocking out Imperial. And more importantly for them, staying alive and making it past this hellish day. We did talk about them targeting Carrigan in towards the B side potentially, and it's going to be the opening kill for Brokey. Can't get the double, but uh, it's Imperial that certainly can. No way. Big spray down towards the underpass. We're not done here just yet. Frozen taking matters into his own hands. Wants to close this series right here, right now. Detects a player towards the mid boxes as well, ready for the swing. It does mean the rest of phase have to stay alive for the flank to actually make sense. Shadow is showing, Rain knows, a little bit of a pre-fire. Good return from Vinny, but again, they've got that ace up the sleeve in Kerrigan walking Look, through. You say that, it might not matter. He's a little bit late to the party. He could catch the bomb. And here we go, Carrigan. can he close things out? He absolutely can, a captain's performance to seal the deal. Wasn't their best showing, Anders, but all that really matters is they get it across the line. That's yes. all anyone will remember in the history books. They got through today, one of the most abysmal showings they've probably had on Anubis ever.